This first speaker, J.J. John, title is Dream Equal Dreamer. Dreamer? Dream Equal Dreamer? <laughs> J.J. John, what are you doing on the Once upon a time, in China, there is a man who was walking for miles and miles and miles and miles, walking. And he got tired and exhausted. And he needed some water and rest. And he found a str stream and he got some water for his thirsty thirst. And then he find, found a shade under a tree. And he got sat down under the tree, right under the tree and shade. And he was enjoying a, 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 a cool breeze comparatively to the scorching outside of the shade. Sun, scorching, hot, but he's cool under the shade. And he closed his eyes. And then he opened up his eyes. What happened? Something, something strange that happened. Something strange happened. On his back, he found something. On his on the back. And it's moving. Quite strange. Strangely enough, he found a ring. And no, you you got the story, right? He got the ring. And he moved the ring a little, and his body was jumping. And he decided to move loudly, and he's flying eventually. Flying, flying, eventually, on the sky. And he was watching the grass down, and some flowers, and something, something under his feet. And he got hungry after some flying, lots of exercise, and he found a pointed leaf, looks like a straw, and found a flower. <laughs> this one tastes like grape. And moving on, pork. Okay, this one tastes like strawberry. And moving on, and then he found something bigger over there, curious enough to move his uh, wings and then he approached and there was tree under tree there's a nasty uh, stinky man was lying and quite enough approached near and he found himself lying there and again he's surprised opened up his eyes and then he found a small butterfly flying by. Now, Toastmasters and members and guests, have you ever questioned this? You know this story already, right? Have you questioned what is dream? What kind of dream like this? And you may experience already like this, don't you? And second dream story I'd like to deliver today is uh, based on a real experience and of course it's historically written Okay, about 3,000 years there lived a woman in Egypt nowadays uh, people calling the country and she was standing in a big, 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 big huge <laughs> monument. And nowadays, which present civilization calls it pyramid? And then she was walking in a small aisle, dark, small, small enough to walk or pass, just one man can pass by. And through the aisle, he, she reached to a small space like this, and there was a tube, 
like bathing too, but it's not quite bathing. It's coughing. You know, dead people go in, and there is a cover, and you're gone. But around here, people are sitting. They make some sound, low vibration, but it's clear and it's clear and deep sound. It's not like negative, but feels like some vibration, like a, a lifting of something. And then she was requested to go into the coffin, and then she lie down, and cover was on, and darkness everywhere, and she cannot move. Now that is the procedure of initiation at the time in that region in Egypt. Initiation. Then she dreamed about her present life. She was born in Poland and she experienced the World War II. And at that time she uh, in, in one World War II, it was a uh, disastrous experience ever experienced. And she has a son and she has a friend from India doing yoga. And she left a book called Initiation. And her name is Elizabeth Haich. And that is real person in our history. Now, again, back to the dream world. So she was in a 3,000 years ago in Egypt, in the pyramid. And then now she dreamed about her real life in current, or not so much current, but the experiencing the world. Now which one is dream and which one is dreamer? And I'd like to throw a question to you. Are you dreaming now or are you experiencing your dream? Are you a dreamer or are you a dream? Why do I have to have another dream to achieve? And what they are calling is objective or desire or objective. What do I need such a bullshit? So am I a dreamer in dream? Or am I a dream in my Am I a dreamer in my dream? <laughs> it's the same one? <laughs> okay. This is my heritage, uh, frankly, this is my heritage thinking. They're questioning everything. If I if I if something comes to my attention, I just question it. And no nothing else comes to my mind. And even the scholar, professor, or doctor, something says something, and I don't believe that. I question myself to which to my own answer. And that the dreaming is a dreamer. So dream dreamer is the same thing. That is the conclusion I reach to the question of this. Dream world. Mm -hmm. I'm living a dream world. Why you are dashing or experiencing more experience in the dream world? Back to Tasma. I thought I'm dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you 